Today's video is to celebrate National Dog Day. Coast Dog Grooming, this is Michael. How may I help you? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before and you're already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome back. Today is National Dog Day and I am here today with Brittany Aquino and of Coastal Dog Grooming. Brittany, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yay! So Brittany, tell us a little bit more about yourself. How long have you been a dog groomer and how did you get started? Um, I've been a dog groomer for 11 years. Um, I got started in a little mom and pop shop. Um, I've always been, I raised with dogs, cats, everything. So what kind of breeds do you groom? Do you see all sorts of breeds? I see all sorts of breeds. Okay. Big, small, the little fuzzy ones. <laughs> Those probably are the most popular, the cute little fuzzy ones. How do you deal with like aggressive dogs? Or uh, do you? That's, that's what I have the kennels for. Okay. Uh, so the aggressive ones will go in the kennels. Or if they're, they're fine, but then they're not being so nice to maybe a particular dog, then I'll go on time out for a little bit and I'll try again. We talked about earlier today about that you don't just do dogs, even though it says coastal dog room, you do dogs and cats. Yes, yes. I do cats too. And um, this is actually a cat. Right? <laughs> so, cat right uh, tell me about this one um, or, or this breed. He's, he's a Persian. He's a Persian. Okay. Um, his name is Jinx. Um, and he's been grooming for a long time since he was a little baby. Tell me what you like about being a dog groomer. What do you love about this profession? I get to play with dogs every day. <laughs> and you give them back. And I give them back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and so what keeps you coming back? What do you, why do you like this so much? I guess I like seeing the people's faces when I give them back. Oh, that must be nice because they bring them in. It's like going to a car wash. Huh? You, yeah. go, you bring them in and they're nice and, you know. They come in one way and then come out looking <laughs> another way when they go out. I, I, I keep thinking, I'm a chihuahua and I keep thinking that maybe I'll bring them to a dog room or so he can come out going poof. Yes, I, I love it. I really like the people's face when they, when they bring out the dog and their face um, of how surprised they are yeah. about how good they look and everything. That makes me feel really good. Oh, so. that's very awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you have tips that you can give maybe dog owners and on proper dog hygiene? Um, I would say brush your dog every day because <laughs> that's really key. Really? Even um, a small, like a short-haired chihuahua? Even a short-haired chihuahua. Uh, they have, I'm guilty. <laughs> they, we, uh, there's this um, brush, it's, it's a rubber brush, it's called Zoom Room. You can get it from your local pet store and everything like that. Um, those are really good on the short-haired dogs. It gets out all that hair and everything that they're shitting out. Um, as far as the longer-haired dogs, I would say a, a wire slicker brush. And then you just gotta spread out the hair and brush from the body out, from the skin out. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I would say as as often as you can um, to brush them. Okay. And, you know, it helps keeps them unmatted, so you can have any length you like, <laughs> no mats. Okay. Um, it also helps stimulate the the blood flow in their skin and their coat, so they have a nice shiny coat and they're a healthy skin. You do. Uh, obviously, um, trimming, grooming, shampoo. What about nails and things like that? We include the nails. Okay. Uh, we clean the ears. We do their anal glands. Um, and uh, yeah, they, we we do it all. We they get a sanitary trim, uh, and then whatever haircut you would like. And then, what tips can you give to us dog owners about proper diet? I guess it depends on people's budgets. You know, it tends to have a play in it. But uh, I would definitely look at the back of the, the food and the ingredients in the food. Um, so I would go with something that had, that's not a lot of preservatives or um, random things, you know? Yeah. As long as you know what those ingredients are, uh, I, would, I would stick with those. So, okay. I mean, my dogs are overly spoiled and I cook for them every day. They get boiled chicken, oh. rice, and carrots and peas. So, oh my I mean, gosh. you know, if you want to do that, you can do that. But if you, you can't, you know, I would stick with something that, that first ingredient is a protein. So we do dye too. Um, and eat, you know, just little stencils and stuff like that, you know, nothing nothing too big. Um, and the, the dye stays in, it's uh, semi-permanent, but it's all um, vegan and everything, so it's safe for them and everything. And all Very that cool. fun stuff. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. Aww. Now 
Watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. This is Brittany Aquino of Coastal Dog Grooming in Lakewood. I will have all her information down below in the description box. So be sure to check her out. She's fabulous. She has a Facebook page, she has a Yelp page, and I'll link all her information down below. Be sure to check back again for new upcoming segments in my Celebration Awareness video series. We'll have more interesting topics just like this one. <laughs> And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit this notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you'll be notified. I'm Annie and this is Brittany of Coastal Dog Grooming. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment and like below. Thank God I don't do a live show. I'll be like, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> hi, honey. Look at, look. <laughs> Did she do it again? Yes. <laughs>